crochet designer, instructor, and blogger behind Itchin' for Some Stitchin'. Today I'm going to show you how to make a stopper knot. A stopper knot is a good technique to know for crocheters because it's useful for tying off yarn ends in a decorative way, such as at the ends of hoodie strings or crisscross lacing on a crochet top. When tying a stopper knot, you usually have two ends. You have what's called the standing end or the standing line that is usually attached either to your project or your ball of yarn. And then you have a loose end, which is often called a running tag or the working end. And this is the end that actually will make the knot. This is the, the, the standing line is the area that we're gonna be working around to form that knot, okay? So for step one, we want to leave about as much space as you can, maybe, maybe like uh, at least six inches to a foot of yarn. Have that as your running tag, a long piece of your running tag. It'll make it easier to work with. Okay, and what you want to do is you want to form a small loop at the end of your line by taking the running tag, that's this working end or loose end, and running it over your standing line here. Okay. And then what we want to do is we want to take that running tag and we're going to turn it over this way and we're going to make a overhand knot around this standing line. And so we want to make sure that we have two loops at this point. We have this loop here and then we have this loop right here that my pinky is underneath. Okay. And we're going to take this running end, this working end, this running tag, and we're going to tuck it down into this small loop here. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pull on that running tag on that loose end. Okay, so we have now formed an overhand knot. Okay, and then what we want, to, and then what we want to do is we want to take this running end and we want to run it underneath and up through this large loop that we have right here. So let's grab that with I'm grabbing this with my forefinger and my thumb, and I'm going to pull that up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull on this running, this loose end here, and on my standing line at the exact same time. I'm going to pull them both apart like this, and you're going to see that that's going to pull that knot together. And there you have it, a stopper knot. Now what you would do for any of your crochet projects, uh, for instance, if you've done this at the end of strings at the end of, uh, that go around the top of your hoodie, you'd want to just sort of snip your yarn so it's a little bit closer to the knot. You don't want to go too close because that could unravel your knot. So you just want to snip it maybe down here um, just to kind of so you don't have as much of that running end or running tag still there.